Eastern Africa region is hosting some of the fastest growing economies in the world. These coupled with rapidly growing populations in countries like Kenya and Ethiopia, there is mounting pressure to produce more and more energy. One company is committed to filling the gap and is now the leading electricity generator in Eastern Africa. Familiar to many as Kengen, the Kenya Electricity Generating Company takes pride in producing much of its energy from renewable and clean sources. We have an installed capacity of 1,818 megawatts, out of which 72% is from green sources. And on a normal day, all the power that is consumed in households, industries, and even other consumption, most of it is green. And those will be some of the highest percentages you'll see in this world. Hydroelectric is one of the most commonly used technology for renewable energy in the world. In Kenya, Kenjin has over the years made huge investments establishing hydro-generating power plants in western region, upper Tana, and eastern region, also known as the Seven Forks. Nicholas Kitaka is the chief engineer at Kamburu Power Station in the eastern region. Kitaka is a seasoned engineer who has worked at Kenjin for close to 30 years. This is the second plant in the uh, eastern region in terms of the year, years of uh, construction. Uh, that is, uh, the first one was Kinaruma, uh, then followed by Kamburu. Uh, the plant has uh, three machines. Uh, each unit is written at 1.4 megawatts. If you do quick mathematics, that comes to what? 94.2 megawatts. So that is the installed capacity of Kamburu. Come to Kambere. This is the main access tunnel to the powerhouse. The powerhouse is 150 meters from the from the ground surface. 150.5 meters. It is the head for the for the machines. The length of this tunnel is 450 meters, and it has a, a diameter of uh, 6.5 meters. It's a nose shoe. No shape, as you can see, it is not uh, concrete lined, it is unlined. Uh, we normally use the tunnel during uh, when we have spares for the machines. The vehicles pass through the tunnel uh, to transport the machine, the, the spares, and also the tunnel acts as uh, fresh air. The inlet to the to the power house, since the the power house is underground. Since 2017, Kenjen has been aligning itself with the development plan of Kenya's government, famously known as the Big Four Agenda. Our long-term strategy is to be the market leader in the provision of reliable, safe, and affordable energy. And that is in line with our vision. As you are aware, energy is an enabler of development in any economy. And our mandate, therefore, as the generator, enables the country to achieve the Big Four Agenda and also the Vision 2030. And this we do by providing the much-needed energy. We power this nation. We support manufacturing, the health industry, affordable housing, and even food security. In the last four years, the energy generator has embarked on a number of renewable energy projects aimed at increasing production. While some have since been completed, others remain in the pipeline including a plan to install floating solar, which is technology proven to help reduce water loss through evaporation in dams, among several other benefits. Completion of the 172 megawatts, all carrier 5, 
is one of the biggest contributions, one of the legacy projects, and it is generating and it has a good cost and contributes to the reduction of carbon footprints. We are also about to commission this year an additional 83.3 megawatts, that is all carrier one, unit six. It is at an advanced stage of construction and I do hope to see the commissioning later on. As part of recent achievements, Kenjan is now running operations in two other Eastern Africa countries, a move that will have a significant impact on the generator's revenue. Under my leadership, Kenjan has rolled out a diversification strategy that has seen the company go set foot in Ethiopia and Djibouti. We have three commercial contracts in those countries. One of them is in an area called Aluto Langano, the other one in Tulumoe. Those two are in Ethiopia and also Galalekoma Field in Djibouti. And we also, we are talking to other countries. We want to really set our footprint in Africa to expand our revenue streams and utilize our expertise. In a world where climate change is threatening the very existence of life, Kenjen is already making strides towards achieving 100% renewable energy. In fact, at the 2021 Climate Action Awards East Africa, Kenjen was given an honorary recognition for its efforts in helping mitigate the effects of climate change. The company has scaled up production of green energy and currently more than 86% of energy produced is from hydro, wind and geothermal. And my philosophy is to take care of the people and they will take care of the machines and the dams and other things. Amid the successes registered by Kenjen is the greatest resource, the employees the men and women who turn dreams and paper strategies to reality.